What's up everybody? This is Damron with Trash Ass Gamers and we're playing Elder Scrolls Online. We're fighting Veladreth trying to get the Embrace the Shadow achievement, which is to defeat Veladreth on veteran difficulty while no one uses the Atronox Light Synergy, which basically means when you go into the catacombs you're not going to be protected by the light that surrounds you because you activated the Atronox Light. Um, which makes that portion much more difficult. In fact, you're going to have to move yourself to braziers, light them, regather your energy, kill some of the adds, and then move on. Whereas when you have the Atronox Light, you can just kind of make your way through the um, catacomb portion of this fight with no worries. Now, with that, I will say, if you are the tank, be very, very, very careful. You know, a lot of shards are coming your way. A lot of synergies are coming your way. So be very careful that you do not press, you know, your synergy button. Button to accidentally activate the Atronox Light. A way that can make that even um, safer is the fact that you don't even have to kill the Atronox if you don't want to. So see, this is the difficult part. Now you're going to enter into the catacomb portion of the fight and you don't have the Atronox Light. So the darkness will hurt you over time and what you need to do is you need to make your way to braziers and light them and stand there for a minute because your stamina is going to drain, your health is going to drain, eventually you're going to be moving very very slow so you want to get to a brazier let your dps uh, dps kill all the ads stand there for a moment gain some stamina back and then move to the next brazier the ads are okay to kill and they're going to catch up to you but if the corvers catch up to you um, which spawn with you at the beginning of the catacombs then that's basically the end of it for you now only one group needs to make it through so as you can see our partners died here and if that happens as soon as you jump in, go for the revive. Because you're likely going to have a second or two before Veladreth does anything. And if he does do something, he's going to pull one of the players in to devour their ultimate, as you're seeing here. But I was still had enough time to get the revive off. So if one team makes it through, you'll likely be able to get both team members up if you do that immediately. Now, we're not going to talk about all of the mechanics of Veladreth in this particular video. I do have a separate um, veteran Cradle of Shadows guide that covers all the boss mechanics in this dungeon as well as Veladreth on hard mode um, so you can check that out I'll link that right here for you in the top right um, so if you want to learn about the mechanics you can check there this is strictly for the embrace the shadow achievement um, so it's pretty tough so as you can see here the good thing about this is that um, you know whenever all the ads spawn if you decide to just focus your DPS on Veladreth the ads when she sends you to the catacombs will no longer be there when you escape the catacombs. So if you decide to take the route of not killing any of the um, Atronox because you don't want to risk accidentally grabbing the light, they won't be there when you get back. So you'll never have like quadruple Atronox because you didn't kill them. So a legitimate method is to just DPS down Veladreth as fast as possible. And this doesn't have to be done on hard mode. So her health isn't particularly that high. Um, so I believe our teammates die here again, and you're going to see us jump in and get the revive. So that's basically it, um, how you can get the shadow play achievement. Um, so you'll see us get it as we take down Veladress last portion of health. And don't be afraid to take your time here. You see, we waited a moment while we are in the brazier, recollected ourselves, killed those ads that were following us, and then we moved to the next brazier. You have time to do this. You do not need to rush through the catacombs which a lot of people do try to do and if you try to just rush through that's probably actually what's going to get you killed um, so let's finish this fight off and we'll get the achievement not so fast sweet meat I'm starving! I'm starving! 
All right, though, there you go. That's how you get the Embrace the Shadow achievement. And remember, this has to be done on Veteran Difficulty. You can't do it on Normal. So I hope you guys liked the guide. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe. And hopefully we see you next time in Elder Scrolls.